what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking johnson for and today people i want to give you guys a review on middle gear survive the beta if you guys weren't aware there was a beta going around the, over the weekend uh this is the second beta by the way the earlier beta came out like a month or two ago i did manage to play both of them and supposedly the second beta was supposed to have like two extra missions i have not spotted them yet so I don't know what's going on, but there was supposed to be two extra missions, but uh, overall, I did play, you know, the beta completely. I did level up my character to level 20, so I'm going to tell you guys, you know, what to expect from this game. Should you buy it, should you not, should you skip it, or should you just leave a dislike on all the videos from Metal Gear Survive because of Konami and Hideo Kojima. So, uh, first things first, I want to say that the movement system, it is quite similar to the original game of Metal Gear Phantom Pain. It doesn't change much, it's just that the crouch button and the diving button are separate and they're not the same you know that's the only difference there is between the two games so uh the movement system is still okay it's not that big of a deal it's still like uh the, the character ain't that clunky like if i compare this game to grand theft auto 5 the movement system uh grand theft auto 5 it's a little bit clunky it's a little bit sluggish compared to this game and i mean everything's like quick reaction and stuff like that another thing you gotta be aware of is that you gotta level up your character but the game doesn't tell you how that's the problem a lot of the steps that i tried to like uh you know when i first played the beta the earlier video when it came out like a month or two ago i did not know how to do anything they didn't they don't explain anything at all like it gives you some hints of what to like open on the, in the middle of base or whatever you're in your own base and uh there's like a lot of crafting systems and you know everything's just thrown out there for some odd reason it doesn't let you like uh, it doesn't give you like the steps of how to level up your character or what to do next like it doesn't tell you at all just like not a little help menu it's not that much of a help so i'm like a little bit lost when i first played the beta and uh but it was okay along the way i learned and uh pretty much settled myself down and uh, leveled up my character pretty nice and neat so uh, like another thing i didn't know is that you can change the color of your clothes it took me a while actually it took me like around four hours to figure that out i mean if they were to give us more of help into the game like just diving into the game like okay so this is what you gotta do to do this and you know go here if you want to customize your weapon or strengthen your, weapon, your weapons that you can uh make your weapon stronger you can make it uh dur more durable and stuff like that there's a lot of things that doesn't explain to you when you jump into the game so you're pretty much in there with like a chicken without a head so that's one of my biggest major concerns about the game maybe a big minus too because uh it just throws you out there um now i want to talk about the gameplay you know you jump into the map you want to do whatever the hell you want the problem is i thought this game was going to be an open world like i thought you could just kind of run around defend some certain bases and get some you know get some resources and go back to mother base and just try to upgrade it but i'm guessing that's only for this solo story mode which is kind of a big minus also for me because it was advertised as an open world but at the end of the day for co-op for co-op only like it separates it like, i think that i think that's how it's gonna be when you jump into campaign you get to do that open world stuff when you jump into co-op you don't get to do much so that's another big minus <laughs> i mean we're just going in the street now we just have to do big minuses so uh so yeah like that's one letdown right there but when you jump into the game with a friend and co-op i mean it just starts getting fun because you know it's zombies when you jump into a zombie game with a friend it's just start getting fun because you both yell at each other you start getting at strategies you know you start getting out tactical movements and stuff like that oh you know zombie over here plays this story up there and uh that's another thing i want to talk about the crafting system ain't that bad it's i mean i completely understood that when i first jump into the game that's one of the things that i kind of like didn't need help with because you know you jump into the mother base you can go into the crafting station and just craft whatever the hell you want after you pick up some resources of course to play after playing a map so um you know the crafting system ain't that bad the stuff you can craft ain't that bad either i mean you can craft fences you can craft traps uh several weapons and stuff like that melee weapons except for example the big ass hammer that I, that is hanging behind my character it's not that bad is that it's just that your swinging movement is super slow so it does uh kind of have like a like a weight registration thing going on like if your weapon is heavier your attack slower you have a smaller weapon like a like a blade or a machete you attack a lot faster so that's good and there's a little bit of realism going on in there so that's a good thing uh so 
another thing that I want to mention, the reward system, once you finish uh, like uh, three rounds into the map, which is another thing that I kind of have a big minus on, is that the, the co-op, once you jump into a map mission, you only have three rounds to defend the little tower. And I'm like, I wish there was five rounds or ten, you know, because I want I wanted to get the intense, you know, I wanted to get intensity. But if it's only going to be three rounds per co-op mission, I don't know, man. I mean, it's it's fun. It's fun for like for reals. Like for me, it was so, totally fun playing with my brother. It's just that uh, you know, I wish it was a little bit more to offer. But I'm hoping that future missions do do offer us more, like more uh, traps, more weapons, and stuff like that, so they can keep it a little bit more fun. And hopefully in the future, also they can add more rounds, because the only three rounds is kind of like being super limited to something there. So um, so yeah. That's my opinion about the missions, that's my opinion about gameplay and stuff like that. It ain't that bad, you can set down traps to kill the zombies, it's just that after every round, after the round ends, the traps go away. Um, I don't know why they do that, to be honest, but I'm guessing... It's not like Fortnite. I know a lot of people are going to be saying, like, oh, you buy the standard game of Fortnite and you can build up forever and forever, you can build up some traps and it'll stay there forever. That's, like... You want to compare this game to Fortnite, but the thing is, this game ain't Fortnite. Is after after every round, everything goes away. So that's a uh, another big minus. But um, I guess you know they want to make things more challenging along the way, and I understand. So um, overall, you know, after playing the beta, after testing out some of the gameplay, testing out some of the crafting stuff, what do I want to give this game? I want to give this game a 7 or a 6 out of 10, is between those two, I, th I think I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. It is playable for a bit, and it seems pretty interesting, I mean it's Middle Gear, I enjoy the Middle Gear series. After you know playing this game, after playing the Middle Gear Survive beta, I just think that uh, maybe, just maybe some of y'all might want to wait till the price drops into like 50%. And you might want to pick it up, but myself, I'm going to pick it up on day one because I think it's fun. Uh, I know people, I'm going to get a little bit of hate about that because of Konami and Kojima. Uh, you know, it's just a big, you know, a big shadow on top of this game because of that. So, uh, I understand, you know, I understand. People want to dislike because of that, you know, go ahead, I don't mind. But uh, I'm going to play it because I think it's fun, so... So yeah, that's my opinion. Um, you know, at least I'm not playing. I'm not paying sixty bucks, sixty dollars for a zombie mode like Call of Duty players do. I mean, they ought to know that there's a thirty-nine dollar game, which is called the Standard Edition for Fortnite, right? I'm pretty sure they know. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not spending sixty bucks. This game is thirty-nine ninety-nine. It's gonna be coming out on February the twentieth. Check it out. Check out the trailers. If you guys are not interested, you know, let me know in the comment section. Tell me your opinion about this whole thing. You know, let me know. So that is it. Make sure you check out my future content like Rainbow Six Siege and maybe other stuff. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more.